What is going on YouTube? Just helping you out here. And for today's video, I'll be doing Chapter 2, Problem 29 in the Fundamentals of Physics textbook, 8th edition by Jural Walker, Halliday, and Resnick. Chapter 2 is all about motion along a straight line. And in Problem 29, it talks about an electric car that starts from rest and accelerates to a certain velocity. And then once it reaches that velocity, it then decelerates back to rest. And we are asked to find how much time elapses for the entire trip and the total distance for the entire trip. So for part A, I want to split this up into two separate pieces. The piece where it starts from rest and goes to the velocity, and then the piece where it goes from that velocity to rest again. So for part one, we can use V final equals V initial plus AT, and we need to solve for T. And we know our car starts from rest, so our initial velocity is zero. And then we can solve for t and say t is equal to v final over a. And both of those we are given in the problem. We have 20 meters per second and then 2 meters per second squared. And when you plug that into your calculator, you should get 10 seconds. And then for part two of the trip, we can use the same equation except this time our final velocity is zero. And we can again rearrange this for time and say time is equal to negative V zero over A. And this is equal to negative 20 meters per second. And our acceleration is negative one meter per second squared because we are decelerating. And when you plug that in your calculator, you should get 20 seconds. So now this is asking for the entire trip. So this plus this, and when you add those together, you should get 30 seconds. And then for part B of this problem, we can do the same thing, split it up into two pieces. But this time we're gonna use the equation V final squared is equal to V initial squared plus two A delta X. So we get that distance piece. And again, for our first part, our initial velocity is zero. So then when you solve for delta x, you get delta x is equal to v final squared over 2a. And we can plug in those values and say 20 meters per second squared over 2 times 2 meters per second squared. And when you plug that into your calculator, you should get 100 meters. And now we can do the same thing for part 2 same equation. The only difference for this now is our final velocity is zero. So then we get delta x is equal to negative v initial squared over 2a. So then this is going to be equal to negative 20 meters per second squared over 2 times negative one meter per second squared. And when you plug that into your calculator, you should get 200 meters. So when you add these two together, you should get 300 meters. So that's it for this problem. If you found this video helpful, please drop a like. Leave a comment if you have a question about something I did or an idea for a future video. And lastly, please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends about my channel so I can grow and help more of you guys out. I'm just helping you out. See you in the next video.